All right, in this week's power rankings, brought to you by yours truly, I have uh, Michigan and Ohio State still at one and two. Uh, both run a bye week a week ago. Michigan has a big game with Penn State, my third ranked team, coming to town. And what will be a massive game on Saturday afternoon, we'll see if the uh, Michigan Wolverine revenge tour continues after Penn State put up a, a big number against them a year ago in Happy Valley. Ohio State will host Nebraska and we'll be able to find out whether or not they've cleared up a lot, any of their issues, to be honest with you, their run game, their red zone issues. Uh, defensively, they've struggled. They're faced two really good wide receivers in Stanley Morgan and J.D. Spielman as well as an explosive tailback. Devon Zigbo has been on a tear. Agent Martinez, the all-everything freshman uh, for the Cornhuskers. And then Michigan State moves back up, and, and Michigan State has been uh, surprising. They, they tend to do uh, everything that Mark D'Antonio is known for. They play tough, they play sound, and just when you think you can count them out, they come back and surprise people, beating Purdue. Uh, and, and which was a surprise to me with how explosive Purdue was against Ohio State. I thought emotionally they could realize they had the Big Ten West um, a path to get to Indy, and uh, they lost that game in Northwestern. Again, having Wisconsin's number uh, in Evanston, it is um, a great mystery, but Pat Fitzgerald, each and every year after slow starts, continues to coach his team, gets a feel for what their identity is, and they win football games at the end of October and into November. It's going to be an exciting month of November. I'm looking forward to it, and we'll see where all this chaos ends up putting which two teams in Indianapolis.